Hey everybody, welcome back to our video. Today we're going to be talking about red light therapy, infrared and near infrared light panels and EMF exposure. I have an EMF reader here. Uh, as you guys are probably aware, if you watch, I have had this unit, this higher end, this cost me about 700 bucks, higher end red light therapy unit. I bought this because the internals are all shielded from EMF so it doesn't produce quite as much EMF as like a one that you put over your head. This is one that a friend bought because I was raving to her that you need to get one of these and uh, she went and bought this for like $100 on Amazon. It's a really nice unit you lay down and put it over your head I've tried it a few times but the problem is they don't have any EMF shielding and because your head is right underneath this thing and you only have a couple inches you're getting a lot more EMF exposure uh, than you probably should they don't really know the long-term effects of uh, you know low level long exposure EMF over the years so electro electromagnetic fields are no joke you really want to make sure that you uh, you know reduce your chances of being around those so in this quick video I'm going to be showing you what this produces at different lengths and then what this produces laying right underneath it all right so this unit is from platinum LED they state that it should not produce any EMF after uh, four to six inches so I'm going to turn the unit on it is a bright sucker and then I have my EMF reader and if we go close about an inch you can see it's saying it's you know kind of a warning it's an unhealthy EMF exposure we start backing up starts dropping down then it goes clear or about you know I'd say about six inches so that seems about right from what they state and as you can see we're at zero here about a foot away I usually use this unit um, about two feet from me on my computer desk they say up to 36 inches uh, you can have some beneficial results alright just for a comparison with the platinum LED it is plugged in but it is turned off got my meter set to zero move it in nothing all right, next is on to the unit my friend owned. I have it plugged in, but as you can see, it is not turned on. But my meter is already still getting a reading. If I move it closer, you can see it's an unhealthy level and the unit's not even turned on. So I'm gonna turn it on and see what it reads. All right, the unit is on. Let's see what happens. Looks to be about the same. 5.56 so it's kind of pretty high almost 10 with the unit on. Alright so what I hope you take away from this video is if you're in the market of buying a red light therapy device I highly recommend getting yourself an EMF reader these are like 30 bucks on Amazon you can always return it later if you don't need it after that but whatever your unit you, you go with I recommend taking a reading at the distance that you're going to be doing your therapy at because again EMF is something to really not play around with all electronic devices emit some EMF even your cell phone but we don't really know the long-term effects of of all that stuff quite yet. If you are going to get one, I recommend one that you like a panel that you put away that you can change the distance and not getting the one that my friend bought that goes right over your face because again, you're only inches away and you're just getting a massive amount of exposure of EMF. So whatever brand you go with, again, test it, read the reviews, uh, and uh, hope, you know, if you get a red light therapy device, you see some awesome improvements. I love mine. I've been using it for about two months. My sleep's dramatically improved as well as my energy, which are the two reasons I went with red light therapy. So hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.